Oh, hey, Captain. Did you get my report on the Finley murder? Uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. Throughout the hilarious cop drama Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Captain Ray Holt and Detective Jake Peralta have a very complex relationship. The complexity stems from the fact that these two are polar opposites of one another. They're each other's antithesis. But you know the old saying, opposites attract, right? Well, it's true. These two men went from adversaries to pretty much father and son. And it was their innate differences that cultivated this progression. In the end, because of each other's differences, the two became better people and benefited immensely. This video will show how Jake Peralta and Ray Holt, through antithesis, developed a mutually symbiotic relationship. A relationship that genuinely benefited both parties. Before we delve into their journey and growth throughout the show, here's a basic breakdown of the personality traits of the two men. First, Detective Jake Peralta. Immature, unprofessional, laid back, unhealthy, cocky, financially irresponsible. Captain Ray Holt. Mature, serious, sophisticated, humble, professional. These two are on complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Jake is your quintessential child, and Holt is your quintessential adult. And they're way too far on the spectrums. Jake literally can't take anything seriously. He needs to grow up. And Holt is way too serious, and needs to rediscover his inner child. Now, let's take a look at how this complex relationship dynamic brought balance to both parties. How the heck did these two opposites eventually attract? Well, it's plausible to assume that a lot of Jake's main character flaws, specifically his immaturity, stem from his absentee father. Jake yearns for fatherly guidance. He didn't get it from the previous captain, Captain McGinley, who just let him do whatever the heck he wanted. And I don't think it's outrageous to suggest that Holt, having no children of his own except for his beloved Cheddar, might even yearn for a son. Let's start with how Captain Holt benefited Jake. It's Captain Holt who teaches Jake how to be a man and gives him the fatherly advice and support he so desperately needs. There's countless examples throughout the show, so let's pick a few. It's Holt who teaches Jake to dress properly. Hygiene. But more importantly, he mentors Jake and teaches him valuable life lessons about the importance of family, something Jake hasn't quite experienced in his life. A great example of this is in Season 1, Episode 10, entitled Thanksgiving. In this episode, Jake reveals that he never liked Thanksgiving because he didn't have happy childhood memories about the holiday. Thus, he avoided going to Amy's house for Thanksgiving celebrations with a 9-9. Holt gave Jake great advice and told him that he can make a new family with new traditions since he's an adult now. Although Jake brushed off the advice at first, he later realized that Holt was correct and referred to the 9-9 as his new family. Holt also helps Jake professionally. Jake wants nothing more than to prove he's the top detective at the precinct. When Jake got into a slump and found himself unable to solve cases, it was Holt who helped Jake. Holt knew exactly how to do this and made Jake do data entry of his old cases. The inspiration from one of his old cases rebooted Jake's mind and helped him solve the new case, thus ridding himself of the slump. After which, Holt gave him an actual pep talk to help Jake stay out of his own head. In Season 1, Episode 2, The Tagger, the viewers see Holt accompanying Jake during a stakeout for a vandalism case to teach him how to be more meticulous. When the culprit of the vandalism was Deputy Commissioner Podolsky's son, Jake had pressure from above to let it slide. Like a good father, Holt allows Jake to make the choice and supports him no matter what. Holt trusted that Jake was going to make the right decision. Holt was supportive throughout, backed him up during the arrest, and later defended Jake when the commissioner started threatening him. Now remember, this relationship benefits both parties. It's mutually symbiotic. These characters complement and restore balance in each other. So while Jake was too immature and literally couldn't take anything seriously, Captain Holt's main character flaw is the opposite. He is way too serious and needs to lighten up a bit. And who better to help with that than Jake? It's Jake who teaches Captain Holt how to loosen up how to have fun, how to josh around. There's a clear difference between this Holt and this Holt. And when Holt and Kevin split up, it's Jake who goes to the ends of the earth to get them back together. In short, these two are each other's opposites or antithesis. 
and it's these antithetical traits that fostered their mutually beneficial relationship. They helped each other grow as people. And it was only fitting that, in the episode entitled Jake and Amy, Holt officiates the wedding. There's a really nice moment during the ceremony when Holt says he loves them, and they in turn say they love him back. And to really bring this entire thesis home, I want to play a snippet of one of the final scenes of the show. Watch. On my first day here, I asked Jeffers to tell me about everyone. Told me you were a great detective, but the one thing you couldn't figure out was how to grow up. Well, I think you finally figured it out. Well, thank you, sir. I couldn't have done it without you. Over the years, you've sometimes referred to me as uh, something of a father figure. Did I? I didn't realize that. But I want you to know, if I had had a son, and uh, he had turned out like you, I would be very proud of him. Thank you, sir. Wow. Wasn't expecting to get this emotional. It's not bad for an old robot, huh? Yeep, warp, seep. <laughs> sir, did you just make a joke? I believe I did. Yes. I guess in the end, we rubbed off on each other quite a bit. Tyler, your sex movie. Please, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this essay. Comment below if I missed something, or if you have a different opinion. Also, I'm a new YouTuber, and I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.